guys, it's Rachel. Today I have a book haul for you guys, but it's a little bit of a different book haul. It is a haul of a bunch of indie authors, probably people you've never heard of. They're done by smaller publishers, some of them self-published. A company called Brand Exercise approached me and asked me if I would like to do a video on the topic, and I said yes. So without further ado, let's just get started. The first book I have is the Woman on Pritchard Street by J.D. Young. I love the cover of this, like I love the tuxedo. This book is a thriller, urban fantasy, set in Washington DC and also Budapest, I guess. This book is about a guy named Simon and he is from a small town in Georgia and he gets this offer to go to Washington DC and take photographs of this woman. It's a no questions asked job and he'll get paid a lot of money, but he gets paid from an unknown benefactor. It's all really strange and he cannot pass up the money. So he goes to DC and then he finds out that the woman he's taking pictures of is his old love named Grace and she's under the influence of a dark entity it has a lot of like political stuff, but also like a supernatural twist on that. I'm actually really interested to read this because it sounds really kind of cool. This book is part of a trilogy. This is the first book in the trilogy. And the second book is called I Am Mira, and that one comes out next summer, I believe. The next book I got was Capital Kill by Mark Grainer. And this one is also a like thriller mystery type book set in Washington, DC. A federal prosecutor named Jeff Trask, he joins forces with the FBI to try to find this killer and the investigation leads them to a drug smuggling ring and it's just really dangerous and sounds really exciting. The body count is rising, nobody is really safe, not even the police. The end is supposed to have like kind of like a twist ending so that one sounds really good. And the cool thing about this one is that it's written by former Washington prosecutor Mark Rayner. So he actually had experience with stuff like this and he really knows what he's talking about. The next one is a book called Obstacles Bring em. And this one is by Maria Federici Doyle. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this one looks really interesting. This one is a true story and it's about a woman who was driving behind a like trailer and something fell off the trailer and it came through the windshield and it completely just damaged her face and brain. When they brought her into the hospital, they told everyone that she was terminal, that she was going to die. She had almost been pronounced dead and so they sent all the friends and family home and they were actually warming up her body to get ready to harvest it for her organs because she was an organ donor and then she moved her hand. It's just about surviving that traumatic injury. It left her blind and left her with a lot of brain trauma and she had to have a lot of surgery. It's sad but it's a really hopeful story. It's just about her survival and her recovery and how she has overcome this horrible tragic thing that has happened to her. It sounds really inspirational and I really am really interested in reading this. The next book is called The Lady Leathernecks by Chiara Kelly. Not sure if I pronounced that right either. I'm sorry if I butchered anyone's name. This one is about a woman who is a, a shy Starbucks barista. She decides to join the Marines. In the Marines she meets a lot of different types of women there. She meets a truck stop evangelist, a hotel heiress, a Korean linguist, and it's just about their life in the Marines and trying to prove themselves and overcome obstacles together. And she learns that, you know, that it's all different kinds of people that join the Marines and they're all have really different personalities and they learn that, I mean, they need each other and that combat is a human thing. Sometimes when you think of Marines, you think of just like faceless numbers of the same type of people that's like a warrior, but they're, they're all different kinds of women and they're helping each other come together to overcome challenges. The next book I got is called Wish Me From The Water and it is by R.E. Swirsky. And this one says, a tragic and horrific tale of a town's dirty secret. This one is kind of like a mystery, but also 
could be classified I think as like a drama. It deals with the issues of abuse and suicide. Um, there's a hockey team and some boys discover one of their teammates was being sexually abused but before they can do anything about it he commits suicide and then there's a story of another woman who is being abused by her husband and she runs away to start a new life and the two stories intertwine with each other. This book is about having courage and strength and standing up for what you believe in. The next book I got is called Tall, Dark, and Handsome and Other Devotionals by Christopher Hall. This book was written by a man who was terrified of public speaking, so he began to write down his thoughts and his words because he didn't want to be that guy that was up there stammering. After about a decade, he had compiled a collection of his words and it says his own waxing and waning faith. They're written in a simple conversational style and there's things in here that are humorous and touching. They're just about God and about reaffirming your faith. It sounds really moving, so if that seems like something you'd be interested in, you should check this out, definitely. And that's all I have for today. I hope I found something new for you. I know that I had never heard of any of these books. Sometimes I, I like to find something different and new and like, refreshing. These are definitely books that are a little bit outside of the genre that I read, but they all sound really intriguing. And so let me know if you've read them. Let me know if you want to read any of them. I will leave all the links to the books down below. So if you guys want to check them out, you should definitely do that. Find something new. Give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you to Brand Exercise for sponsoring this video, and I will see you again soon. Bye!